All right, guys, Classic's back, and I'm doing something different with my channel. I'm doing what I want to call Classic Fridays. <laughs> and Fridays, I plan on posting some random classic video games. And if you guys have suggestions on what you want to see, when I say classics, I mean like Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, etc. Games back in the day. I don't mean like PS3. I could do that because technically PS3 came out like a long time ago too, but I want to do some even further games like from the 90s. If true, I'll probably even do games from the 80s. <laughs> um, for those guys who don't know what this is, Killer Instinct, it's a fighting game. It's like Street Fighter Mortal Kombat style. And this is a lot like Mortal Kombat, fast paced. You actually have to do combos like back down, forward, forward, back down, down, down. You get the idea. <laughs> but yeah, this game is one of my favorite games back in the day. I was a beast in this game. And trying to play this game now is actually pretty fucking hard. You gotta get used to playing this kind of game again. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing this as commentary over the game. I'm still trying to figure out how to set up to do recording with my audio in the game. I'm not used to it just yet, I'm trying to figure it out. But yeah, like I said, this game is just like Mortal Kombat. You have even finishers, you have like insane combos to finish them off. You can knock them off the building, stuff like that. Like look at this. Yeah! Ultra! Ultra! <laughs> oh no, she's falling! She's gonna die! No! My car! <laughs> That's really his vehicle. Combo's vehicle. And for the name, let's go with if I was able to put the whole thing, it would be classic. But CLS would do. <laughs> this game has like I think 12 characters to choose from to fight with. I'm not gonna do an entire gaming and if I die and keep on trying, man, nah, that'll probably be like a freaking 20 minute video. So once I die, I'll just cut the video from there. But yeah, this was the biggest hit, one of the biggest hit of fighting games back in the 90s. This was like everywhere in arcades and grocery stores. Well, I grew up playing this in Chicago. That's how I was out there in Chicago. You could go to the arcade place or the grocery store and play this in the arcade machines. But yeah, this is a lot harder to fight than I would compare this to like Xenoverse 2. Yeah, this takes a lot more freaking skills. You actually gotta learn how to use your characters and every character doesn't fight the same on this game. And as you can see, I look like a beast with this character, but the, every time you go to the next character, it gets harder and harder and freaking harder. As a kid, I could beat this on insane difficulty. Probably take me a while, maybe like, I don't know, an hour? Because this game is that intense. But if I was okay playing this right now at this level, I'll be flying through the damn game. I actually beat the game with every single character that you could pick in this game. Because every time you beat the game, it gives you a different story of every character, their background. What they did with their life when it was over. And as you can see, I know how to play other games. <laughs> Damn it. In playing fighting games back in the day, everyone was known for getting their hands cramped up. Going psycho with the buttons. You can't just mash buttons and hope something happens. Sometimes it can if you mash it where you're trying to do a combo. Look at, now check this out. 
I know it's not all super badass, but you get the idea. Every character has their own finisher ultimates. And I honestly think that there was more than one ultimate with this one. I don't remember his other one. I only remember that one. But I remember like Jado, the ninja guy I just fought earlier, he slices you into pieces. Cinder, the one I just fought, he burned, I think he just burns you to like sand or something. That's weird. This guy here melts you in his body acid. He turns into like a bubbly acid like water. It just disintegrates to his opponent. The chick I fought earlier, Orchid, she shows you her tits. <laughs> your eyes will pop out and you just pretty much die. It's stupid. But yeah, every character has their own crazy finisher, crazy combos. But yeah, guys, if you want to see something else in particular that you might that just to get memories back because you haven't played him forever just let me know i probably have it i have hundreds and hundreds of freaking games just on my wall because i'm a gamer a hardcore freaking game freak <laughs> who cares Now, growing up playing this, it was like a, I'll get together with friends, family, cousins, play the crap. But nobody really like, played me on this game because they said I was a try hard. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. Back then when it came to games, like this was on Super Nintendo and I'm not sure if it was on Sega. Because I have this right now on Super Nintendo. But yeah, people considered me a tryhard in almost every game back there because I was known for trying to beat every single game that ever came out right up. And when I say beat, I don't mean just beat it. I mean like beat it, platinum. And there's no such thing as platinum back then. But I'll try to beat it and get everything the additional percentage. Like for example, Super Mario World. I think it was like 123. It wasn't just 100, it was 123. Donkey Kong Country was like 113%. Because you could beat the story, but if you beat it 113%, which sounds stupid, it gives you additional story to the game, and sometimes it unlocks more stuff. Sometimes you can get more characters. But yeah, if you guys want to see more fighting games, I have like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3. I have... Um, I even have a Power Ranger one. I have a Ninja Turtle one. <laughs> I have, um, let me see. Damn, I have so many games. If you want to see something completely different, I have like, um, what's it called? Ninja Turtles in Time. I have Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World, Super Mario World 2. Um, all the old Mario games you could think of from the 90s, like Mario All-Stars. I have that, which plays all of them. I have the Kirby collection. I can just keep going and going. I have so many games. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Like I said, if you want to see something else, just let me know in the comments. So until next time. <laughs> Bye.